looking at the four games that we've got and, and opportunities to uh, to build a bit of depth, you know, there aren't that many windows now between now and the World Cup to um, to I guess they build the depth, which I think has has been happening over a period of time. But I think coming away from home. Um, with a, a group with you know a, a backbone of experience, but also a lot of guys with uh, sort of single-figure caps, it, we find out a bit more about them. We find out uh, how they respond in, you know, in different environments. Um, and I think looking, you know, looking a little bit sort of medium to longer term towards you know the back end of next year when we'll be in the World Cup. It, it allows us to uh, you know to, to spend a bit of time with players that we feel. Uh, have, um, have deserved the opportunity in some of their form for, for their provinces and previous work they've done with us already to uh, to give them an opportunity to step up this week and and build through uh, you know which is what's going to be a really uh, tough uh, couple of weeks for us. Yeah, I guess the the starting team um, will always be given you know a large percentage of the game and then there'll be certain individuals that, that we'll want to see a little bit more of, but. Uh, it's a great opportunity for the halfbacks, Luke McGrath and uh, and uh, Joey Carberry, you know Ross Byrne and um, and uh, John Cooney to to kind of share that workload, and especially at halfback where we've been fairly consistent probably in our selections over the last couple of seasons. You know, with uh, with um, Conor Murray and Johnny Sexton, you know playing the majority of big games. Uh, it's great that, that those guys will, will share some responsibility. Same thing in, in other positions. Um, you know, I, I think those guys that start the game um, will will be expected to finish the game, but there'll always be opportunities and and, uh, and at times in the games when we want to, to bring on some fresh legs um, and, and change things up a little bit. Um, and that's always our plan that we'll try to, uh, to give it majority of those 23 players selected the opportunity to to go and get some game time we we know Italy um pretty pretty uh, well you know we, we've played a lot of rugby against them and and uh, we're very aware of the, the, the threats they have um, as much as they they have picked some inexperienced players they also have a couple of very experienced players um, you know the halfbacks Tobaldi and, and Canna two very experienced players and, and two guys that will um, will have them ticking. Uh, Campagnaro at centre as well. Um, he's been released by Exeter Chiefs to, to play in this game, which which again gives them you know, a fair bit of experience in that 9, 10, you know, 12, 13 uh, position. And I think uh, we also know that whenever you play Italy, you know you're in a game physically because they they go hard and um, it doesn't matter who they select. Uh, they're a very physical side and they get on the front foot and they, they want to try and impose themselves physically on you as a team. So we know how much uh, it'll take to beat them and, and, and how important it is that we get our, our, um, our house in order in terms of uh, our fundamentals in our game.